Pixar finally published a longer trailer for the upcoming sequel of the Inside Out movie. And the trailer promises a lot of things as we see the changes in Riley's life, and the appearance of four new emotions one by one. The trailer not only shows us the changes while Riley grows up, but also shows a new location discovered by joy and sadness when they tried to come back to the main headquarters. If you're ready, let's dive into it. In the trailer, Riley's life looks like a roller coaster. She's still into ice hockey, and she's doing really well, as we see from the trailer. And her family is very proud of her. She turns 13 in the trailer, which actually signals the beginning of her puberty. There were a few changes in her looks. She's dealing with normal teen stuff, like wearing braces, going to the dentist, and having acne. There's even a funny scene in the trailer. She's visiting the dentist clinic, probably for a checkup appointment. One of the rubber bands leaves Riley's teeth and slaps to the dentist's face. The animation is top-notch, capturing all the details of being a teenager. Acne, redness in face, oily skin, and hair. These things are all natural, in order to show the youth that all of these things are normal. Regarding her emotions, Riley seems to finally be able to take control of all the emotions and manage them perfectly to be successful. It's pretty obvious when joy, fear, sadness, anger, and disgust team up and stabilize Riley's mood during the race. And at the end, she succeeds. And finally, the other new emotions officially made an appearance in the trailer. Embarrassment takes the spotlight in Inside Out 2, standing out among the other emotions since he is the biggest one. Perhaps this reflects how embarrassment can feel really big and overwhelming compared to other feelings, especially when faced with emotional discomfort. We see the meeting of joy and embarrassment. Embarrassment sweats a lot, as the result is seen on Joy's hand. In the upcoming scene, we see Anui. She's indigo, has a pointy nose and long hair. Inui speaks with a French accent. She's often seen playing or texting on her phone. She doesn't really care about the things happening around her. And then there's Envy. She's pretty small, just about as tall as Anger's head or Embarrassment's nose. She's got cyan skin, pink blush, freckles, teal hair with a purple clip, and green eyes. She wears a lavender shirt. Her size compared to the other emotions shows how people might feel inferior when comparing themselves to others. It highlights that feeling of wanting what someone else has and feeling small in comparison. Even though we already had some impression about anxiety from the first trailer, the new one shows us more about her. She's super nervous about making a good impression, especially on Joy. Anxiety is a big planner, needing everything to go just right according to her plans, or she worries it'll come back to haunt her later. Like Joy, anxiety wants to be in control, not liking it when she's pushed to the side. She's ready to get rid of anything she sees as unnecessary or risky for Riley, even if it means bottling up old emotions or changing Riley's whole personality. These emotions are going to have a huge conflict when Riley tries things for the first time, or when things start to change around her. Back to Riley, as she makes progress in her hockey career, it looks like things are getting more professional as she steps into a building named Ice Arena. We see other people waiting in front of the building. There she meets one of the girls, who looks cooler than others. She wears an oversized blue sweatshirt, gray pants, cool accessories, and sporty shoes. Some of her hair strands are colored red. Riley adores her. Since the trailer came out, there's been some simp going for these two. Even though I feel like Disney wouldn't risk limiting their marketing by making Riley a part of the LGBTQ community, it would be really interesting to see a queer person's journey because puberty can be a really tough time socially for queer people. As they grow up, they might feel pressure to fit into certain expectations about gender and sexuality. This can make them feel like they don't belong or that they have to hide who they really are. Queer people might face discrimination, bullying, or rejection from their peers or even their own families. Many people refer to Riley's blushing in front of that new girl as having a crush on her. Well, this is a situation that could end with either answer. You will understand what I mean in the upcoming minutes when we're going to talk about the actual events happening in the trailer. Aside from these, it seems like they get along with each other. Riley might see her as an idol. Envy shows Riley's admiration by focusing on her hair. And it's the moment we actually see some cracks in Riley's friendships. She seems to be choosing some new friends over the other ones. New cool friends over the ones we think we can keep in our pocket. 
That's a pretty common thing in these ages, isn't it? In the movie, Anxiety is very nervous. Carrying around actual suitcases, she's super jittery, especially about meeting emotions like joy. She's a mega planner, wanting everything to go exactly as she's mapped out, fearing any slip-up might come back to haunt her. Like Joy in the first movie, Anxiety's a control freak, wanting to run Riley's life. She's ready to ditch anything she thinks is risky as she bottles up the old emotions. With embarrassment's help, Anxiety traps the old emotions in a glass, thinking that they're not sophisticated enough. After that, Anxiety starts to run the system. She's the owner of the headquarters. As we see from the trailer, she has many sub-emotions, or things that are analyzing everything very tediously, and acting according to that. In this scene, there are a few interesting things. The screens on the wall show us the moment Riley sees the most risky. These include the moments when she is racing in ice hockey, when there's a possibility that someone will make fun of her because she wears braces, and more importantly, this picture. Even though it's pretty far away from the camera, it's clear what's going on in there. We see Riley, her boyfriend, and the cool girl she met. And here we have two theories. Riley is lesbian or bisexual. Even though she has a boyfriend and she's hanging out with him, her mind is thinking about the girl, especially when she sees the girl with her boyfriend. Another theory goes like this. Since the beginning of their friendship, Riley adores her style, her personality, and her skills. That cool girl might even be her idol. That also explains why Riley refuses to continue to hang out with her previous friends because she wants to spend time with that girl. Thus, she can look prettier, be more cool, and talented. However, I feel that this girl is going to be the biggest insecurity of Riley, and this is going to unlock a new nervous idea. What if Riley's boyfriend or crush will prefer the cool girl over Riley? We see in the image that the boy looks behind at the cool girl. It actually reminds me of the meme picture where a boyfriend whistles behind another girl while his girlfriend looks at him with a disappointed face expression. I have another guess for the movie, and I'll talk about it. It's not a big secret that the movie is going to be about the insecurities of a teenage girl. The plot might evolve as the girl that Riley sees as an idol steals Riley's boyfriend, and maybe her previous friends would support her, or maybe she will be left alone after Riley turned her back on them. Who knows? It's a little bit cliche, but real. What do you think about the possibility? After anxiety traps the old emotions and puts them into a glass, the emotions somehow manage to escape. We see new locations in Riley's head. They are escaping from the copes, and in the next shot, we see only joy and sadness in a totally different place. We learn that the new place that sadness and joy visit is called Sense of Identity. Disney's description says, made up of all Riley's beliefs, and each one can be heard with the pluck of a string. It seems like Joy gives one of the core memories to the center, and it goes over somewhere which is unknown. And then, at the final scene, we see all the emotions but sadness. And I really wonder what the reason is. They seem to have a bigger problem since the island starts to get destroyed, and they are about to fall from the waterfall. But then, they save themselves and they learn that it's part of the sense of sarcasm. It's very weird how the water was very fast at the beginning, and then it's pretty slow at the next shot. Okay guys, that was all for this video. Are you now more excited for the upcoming movie? Let me know in the comments. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video. See you!